What's going on guys? Thanks for coming back and checking out the video. Well, I got the 08 Wrangler back in the garage. Today I'm working on uh, axle U joints. Uh, I'm going to do one right here on the driver's side. I'll show you how bad this guy looks and uh, how to replace it real quick. It's going to be pretty simple. Alright guys, so check it out. This is the driver's side. Got the wheels all jacked up and everything. And if you just turn it a little bit, you can see how much play is actually in that U joint. It actually sounds pretty bad when you're driving. When you hit the brakes, it makes all kinds of noise. But you can see right in there that it is gone. So this uh, U joint has 210,000 miles. All right, so we're gonna pull that sucker out and replace it with. I got myself an AC Delco, you know, replacement right here. These guys are nice and cheap on Amazon. I'll leave a link down in the description box below. And there's a couple of ways to actually uh, change these guys once you get the axle out. Some people can use you know, a block of wood and a hammer. Uh, you can use a ball joint press like I have here, or you can use this a normal press like I have in the corner of my garage over there. But I figured in this video it would be, the best way to show you how to do it would be with a ball joint uh, service set or ball joint press here, because you can rent these. These are really inexpensive on uh, at Harbor Freight and stuff like that. So they're real easy to get. The uh, block of wood and the hammer, that's kind of something you'd want to do like on the trail or something if you didn't have one of these. It's kind of crude and you can kind of damage your new one, so I'm not going to do it that way. And the, not everybody has a press, so this is probably the best way to, uh, to knock it out for most people. So what we'll do here in a minute is we'll go ahead and pull off the wheel, pull off the rotor, pull off the caliper, and uh, take the nut off the axle. And then we'll pull the axle shaft right out and get uh, get replacing uh, get replacing these uh, this U joint right here. So the caliper bolts are a 21. Thirty six millimeter. Twelve point thirteen mil. Right here. This is to get the uh, wheel bearing off. We're gonna have three of these guys, one here, one here, and one on the other side back. Dead blow hammer. Pull out these shafts. There's these little plastic retainers in there that try to keep the axle straight when you go to put it back in. Make sure you try to get all these out. And look in the tube and see if there's more than one of these, okay? And get them out of there. All right, my favorite thing in the world. Not really. Here we go. All right, what we're going to want to do is that there's these little clips that are on the side. Like this one's totally missing, but there's these little clips. Okay, and we're going to have to knock them out of the sides here on all four corners but we're of course missing one those little clips they look like like this like your new ones and they're just in here in here like that we're gonna knock those out then we're gonna push these caps out of here with the ball joint press
joint press. Ooh. Okay, we're gonna use this to go ahead and press these caps right off of the, the end of it first, okay? Yeah, I got this crazy glove on the end because it's full of anti-seize. I don't want it all over my hands because that stuff gets everywhere. Once you get it on you, it just kind of goes all over the place. All right, so you wanna line up the ball joint press on the caps, especially, you gotta make sure that the cap is gonna come all the way through this hole right here, okay? You don't wanna like block it or anything like that. And we're just gonna push uh, the U-joint this way as far as we can so we can get this top cap right off first. Alright, so the U-joint itself, I pushed it all the way over. I pushed it over a little bit too much, but you, you actually don't want to push it all the way over, but you want to push it enough where the cap will just come right off. See, I pushed it super far over, it broke everything. What we're going to have to do now is I'm going to push the U-joint back in and back up through this way so I can get this cap off here. So, you can actually use a hammer and just probably beat it in there real quick, but we'll see what happens here in a second. Then we can take this end right off. Like that. This cap should be really close to coming off since it's all pushed through and everything like that. Super close. Just give it a little bit of, a little bit of help. Boom. Okay. Now we can just work this guy right off. There we go. But try not to bend these guys up too bad, okay? Because they'll make putting the new ones on a lot harder. Get on this out of the way. We're gonna do the same thing here on this side here. Just gonna push the joint one way and get the cap off, and then push it off the other way and get the other cap right off. This thing had no grease in it, like none. So we're gonna take this guy apart. We gotta be careful not to lose or mess up any of the needle bearings. Alright. Stick it in here. Could be a little tricky. Ooh, trying to fit him in there. Sometimes you gotta kind of hammer them in there a little bit, which I don't want to do, but I'm probably gonna have to. There we go. Get the caps. Kind of stick them on there. Like so. Okay. Wham, wham, wham. Alright, I'll squeeze this guy together real quick. Put this like here, like so. Trying to get things nice and straight. No 
problem. enough to get these guys in here like this, okay? Just tap them in here. Like that. And turn this guy like this, just to make things a little easier. I'm gonna zoom in here. So I still need to still need to push this cap that way. That's a little there we go. So yeah, you can do this with a, a hammer and a socket, a few sockets. And you can just do it. Do pretty much the same thing, but you gotta be careful you don't lose the caps. Mm -hmm. So this way it's pretty safe that you won't mess anything up. <clears throat> Get your new clip. Hammer right in there. Alright. Just seal it in there. Let's go and turn this like so. We're going to do the same thing. Pull it off. Pull it off. Just got to be really careful. Check it out. Here's the new U joint. Non greasable, but should last, you know, quite a while. Uh, I'm just gonna go slap it back in just like we took it apart. And it should be good to go. That's pretty much it for the video. I'm not gonna show you how to do that, but um, if the video was helpful. Do me a favor and hit the thumbs up if you like it. And uh, yeah, subscribe if you want to see more Jeep stuff. You guys take care, be safe. Have a great weekend. Later.